just is gonna blow your mind how many decks do you know gonna put up six negates without their main mechanic that's like rocks putting up what their six interruptions without synchro summoning listen rocks rocks your shit because pen best deck so if you're ready for this video smash the subscribe button make sure to get a beautiful troop game playmat on troopgaming.com because that's the real secret on how to put up six negates without pen jump summoning mighty master playmats almost sold out get them now with that being said i'm going to show you guys right now how to put up six negates without pendulum summoning and without blinking why very simple it's because pendulum best deck baby let's go <laughs> Today's video, like I said, I want to show you guys how to put up six negates literally without pendulum summoning. Pendulum summoning, you're a joke to me. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Six negates without pendulum summoning. And I'm going to show you guys two different hands in doing it. Uh, one of which was uh, on Rated, one of which was in the PPG tournament. Uh, super cool. Very easy to do. And yeah, our hand looks pretty good here. By the way, a lot of you guys here would have activated the Abductor first and then the Mastery. Uh, but... If you could resolve Servant and Mastery, why would you not want to do that? So we activate the Servant first. Even if it gets Ash, it doesn't matter. You have so many cards in your hand that kind of need to get Ash, so it doesn't matter there. Uh, the opponent's actually going to uh, quit very soon. It's not about the opponent. I want to more so show you guys the combo. How utilizing the new cards in the deck. And utilizing how the deck now is just all extenders. The whole deck's extenders. So when you're going second and when you're facing hand traps, your opponent can't do shit about it. Like Pendulum Summoning is almost like second, like the second most important part of the deck. Like, the deck, all the cards summon themselves. So, Pendulum Summoning is... You don't even need a Pendulum Summon to put up 6 negates. It's all good. So, you're going to draw here. Uh, reasoning. Uh, waiting for its response. Uh, it's called 7. Uh, re restage triggers to get sent to the grave. Add right hand. Like, look, if this card is sent to the graveyard, add a, add a Magician. Uh, not even sent from the field to the grave. Just sent to the grave. So, that's insane. So, that's free plus. Uh, uh, I can't decide if I should play Reasoning or not because... I actually got absolutely savage when I was playing it in uh, Raided and stuff the past few days. Uh, everyone called seven. I'd have two sevens on my deck and they'd always hit it. So worst case scenario, you get a Mighty Master and Grave or something. But still, I, I don't like taking that risk. Uh, so yeah, here we're going to play it. He's quits and realizing I didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. And you, have the, you already have five monsters on board didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. But it's not about the player. I just want to show you guys the combo more so. How I'm doing this twice in a row. Uh, so well, not twice in a row, but twice. Uh, so time gazer. This is without pendulum summoning. I didn't pendulum summon at all. That's just crazy. So next, I'm going to summon a mighty master. I'm gonna pop my time gazer. I could have put up an even bigger board if I popped like let's say I don't know a right hand abductor or magister or servant or something like that. But I'm like whatever, it's fine. I I thought I was gonna pendulum summon. I didn't. I well, wasn't intending not to pendulum summon. My board was just too crazy. I, I didn't care. Summon vortex. Summon uh, Millennia Mice by the effect of Crash Sheep. Uh, go into Selene with the Servant that's still on field. Summon Mighty Master with the effect of Selene, which has 15 counters. I didn't Pendulum Summon yet, by the way. And now you have, uh, on their turn, you're going to summon a Mighty Master through the effect of Selene. You have a Vortex, a Millennia Mice, a Mighty Master, a Jackal, and a Right Hand on the field. For those who don't know what Right Hand does, it negates spells, uh, the, uh, any, the first spell, but after it resolves. So... If you activate, let's say, a fake spell card to uh, to waste this, you can negate it with a Mighty Master because it hasn't resolved yet. And then right hand could be saved for the Dark Ruler. So just like that, one negate, two negate, three negate. Sorry, one negate, two negate, three negate, four negate, five negate, six negates. You didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. Your scales are complete and you just auto win. Dark Ruler doesn't even do shit. So for the people that say, Dark Ruler, Dark Ruler, oh, Sphere Mode, even if you Sphere Mode me, it's all good. Because you can't normal summon. You're probably going to pass your turn after your sphere mode. You have five cards in hand versus my three negates. Even through six cards. You could sphere mode me. It's all good. I don't care. You could super poly me. I don't care. You still have six negates. You still have three negates after that. Four negates. So this is the first one. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the second one. Uh, in this second uh, replay. Uh, I have the full match of the second replay on my Patreon. Uh, on the Madolce match. I think Madolce is super cool in the new format. Uh, here the hand's not that good. I had to I understand your mastery and stuff, but I hired you the right hand It's a little unfortunate because uh, it's like you, it's not even a brick It basically does what institution does right so you activate institution you get a counter and then it doesn't do anything <laughs> That's how bad institution is bro. Like it's a, such a win more card institution uh, So here, uh, but it's gonna be in a gate instead and this is like this is the brick of the deck if you got restage 
you would not only get the free negate, but you also get a free reborn, plus a free counter, plus free negate. So it's amazing. Uh, here, we get the restage, uh, which we get the free reborn here. But restage is just broken. I want you guys to see this. Now, it doesn't matter what hand trap he has, but look at this. Like, uh, restage got the special of the blue boy for free. Souls then sends it. And normally, I'd be able to add a free right hand, but I already drew the card, obviously. And unfortunately, it would be so amazing if restage could add itself. But it cannot add itself. Uh, but we drew our one target for it, which is fine. doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to keep going here. We draw uh, Institution, Instant Fusion now. Uh, cross Sheep Effect will trigger because the Fusion was summoned underneath it to summon uh, Magician Souls. And then we're going to go into Selene. Uh, Selene Effect, summon Mighty Master. Go into a Mask Arena, activate the Effect of Magister. And look at the board. This is without Pendulum summoning whatsoever. I activate the right hand. In fact, I could have done a way better board. In fact, I completely forgot that usually my Millennium Minds is summoned from Cross Sheep Effect or Selene Effect. So when I saw this on the field this late, I'm like... No, probably summoned it off one of those. I didn't realize summoned it off instant fusion. So uh, I didn't realize it's gonna die. That was a little my mistake. What I should have done here was actually go into Appaloosa and then Pendulum. Uh, if I want, I can't even Pendulum here. I would basically link off the Mighty. I would basically the best play in my opinion at uh, this situation would be link off like the Mighty Master, restrict and Selene into a Selene, special back the Mighty Master, and then summon back the Millennium Minds. But like, like, I have six negates here without Pendulum summoning. I'm gonna activate the right hand. And I, sorry, there it was. I had a Mighty Mask with Abductor. So the play there was probably Appaloosa with the Selene and the Restrict. And then summon a, a Mighty Master to the zone where Appaloosa is. But I don't need to Pendulum Summon. I already have seven negates. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I forgot Millennium Mines is going to go to the grave. So it's going to be six, I guess. But it doesn't matter. He's playing Madolce here. So it's going to go to the grave. Not that it matters. Magister. I can now summon someone with Magister. I negate, bounce back. And yeah, I have the full match of this one on my Patreon. If you guys want to go check it out. And now I'm going to show you guys the deck profile of this absolutely ridiculous deck. Literally six negates without pendulum summoning twice. This is the deck profile. Uh, as you can see, there's a reasoning here. I wanted to show you guys something. I think reasoning is good, but I think a third restage is even better. In my updated list, I showed you three restages, but if there's space, I would put in another reasoning. There's an option if you want to take out a third souls for reasoning uh, because it's a spell card, but... I feel Souls is just so extremely powerful that I opted not to, but in the future I can definitely see playing Reasoning. It's just a spell card that, that summons cards for free. I explain everything in this list in another video that I made, so I'm going to leave this up here. The quick stuff I want to explain is that this is not a budget deck, okay? It is not budget, for sure. You're playing Triple Souls and stuff like that. Now, if you want to play a budget deck, I will be showcasing a budget deck in the future, I promise that. Uh, and in the budget version, there will obviously be no souls, but because there's no Magician Souls, you're going to have to play no restage. And in a budget version, you're going to have to play Mythical Beasts, and I think Mythical Beasts, honestly, are fool's gold. They're not very good. They're good when they're good, but they're bad a lot. So, that's the only issue with it. Yes, they're good, and you can play it for now. You'll still win your games with Mythical Beasts, but if you want the absolute best version, it will be Triple Souls and four M M Magician restage cards uh, for the absolute best version, the fact that it turbos so well. Regardless, this deck's absolutely insane. If you want to play Mythical Beast version, uh, the like basically the budget version. I'll show you that later. One important thing I want to talk about this is you have the Out to Dark Ruler in the deck, uh, in the main deck. A lot of people are main decking it now. You have uh, out to basically the entire meta by this. And Mystic Mine, I think, is absolutely broken. A lot of people, one thing I want to say uh, before, I was going to make a side deck video. Uh, I might not for a few weeks. So in the meantime, for you guys that are playing online tournaments and stuff, if you're a lot of people, are, they're gonna see your seven negate board. I mean, like literally twice. You guys saw there two six negate boards without pendulum summoning. That's insane. Like imagine the actual other hands where it's like you have like six negates. So like every hand six negates, bro. Every hand. So uh, a lot of people are just gonna scoop right away. So when they scoop, you basically side four mystic mines. Well, you don't know what they're playing. Side four mystic mines for four magician restage cards. So that way you're still playing like. You don't need a Dark Ruler out when you're going second, but still, it's a good card to have going second. Resage is very good going second. Like, Resage and Magician Souls together is insane. Like, you go Souls, uh, send a card, you link Souls into Relinquish Anima, and then you use Resage and Special Back to Souls, and then you use the Souls to send the Restage. You draw a card, and you add a right hand, and then you go Anima, Relinquish Anima, and the Magician Souls into Crowley, and then Crowley, go into Blue Boy Secrets, Knowledge, whatever, draw two. You can end up with four cards in hand and a Crowley just from two cards. So four cards in hand from two cards and a link two on the field to pendulum under. So the deck's insane. 
Uh, but yeah, Mystic Mind is really good going second against anything in the meta, especially because you're playing 16 draw cards. So anyways, that's the deck. If you want exact, I, I explained the every single card in this deck in, my, in an old video, so go check it out. Uh, if I'm not lazy, I'll post in the description, but I probably won't. But just check the channel, type in uh, best pendulum deck of all time, let's go baby. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell at 30,000 subscribers. We'll be releasing a beautiful Odd Eyes deck, so make sure to smash the subscribe button. And don't forget to get a beautiful Trip Gaming play mat on TripGaming.com and in the description and sign up for the Patreon. Hope you guys like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.